Hey guys, this is Chandan Kumar from India and once again I am here with my new tutorial for CG Tours Plus exclusively. And this time I will tell you about a quick tip in 3ds Max. And this quick tip is based on motion blur. How to generate motion blur in 3ds Max. This is indeed a very simple thing uh, but I have seen lots of people asking uh, how to uh, generate motion blur in 3ds Max. However, there are several techniques uh, which you can use uh, to generate motion blur and then you can control that in post. But if you don't want to go in post and generate uh, the entire thing in 3ds Max only, you can do that here. I'll show you two examples in this uh, tutorial. The first example is based on simple objects and the second example is based on particles. How to show motion blur in uh, particles, particles objects. So let's start and first of all let me make a small scene for that. I take a simple sphere here and um, uh, put it here and the first thing I'll do here is to animate this sphere from this point to uh, maybe this point. So this is the simple animation of the sphere and uh, if you render the scene you get just a simple rendered image no motion blur or anything else. But since this sphere is in motion from this point to this point, so there must be motion blur on this object theoretically. So to generate the motion blur on this object, right click on it and go to object properties and here you will find motion blur. And this is enabled by default but none is selected here. Now you have two modes here, object and image. If you are using scanline rendering system then uh, both are good but don't use image uh, when you are using mental ray. For now uh, select image multiply is uh, set to 1 now click on OK. Now if you render the scene you see a fine motion blur on the sphere. You can even reduce the motion blur multiplier uh, to see the better result. Now the motion blur amount is less. Now what happens when you select the object mode? If you select the object mode, you don't have any control left on the multiplier. All it takes automatically. Now if you render the scene, you still get uh, motion blur but you can't control the amount of the motion blur. All it is ca calculated by the timing of animation and distance of the keys. If you render the first starting frame, uh, you won't get any motion blur and if you move ahead one frame uh, you get some motion blur. One more frame and some more motion blur. So it calculates it automatically and gives you the result. Now let me show you another example of motion blur for particle system. I have already made a scene for that. Let me open that. So this is a small scene made with the particle flow system. Balls are falling down on the ground. If you see the particle view, you will see several elements here like uh, speed, rotation. I have applied gravity and force. In shape and stance, I have taken this ball. I have used a U deflector in collision. If you render the scene now, you won't get any motion blur here. So how to give motion blur here? Like before, you can't really select the particles. Even if you try to apply motion blur directly on the PF source icon, which most of the people do, um, you won't get motion blur either. So, this is not the proper way. So for that, open the particle view first and then select PF source 1 address bar here and then right click on it and select properties. And then you can apply motion blur here. And now if you render the scene, you will see the motion blur applied on the particles objects. So this is the way how you can give the effect of motion blur on the particles objects. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick tip tutorial. So let's meet you in my next tutorial. This is Chandan Kumar from India for CGTutors Plus exclusively. See you soon. Bye-bye.